Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at successfully importing images back into Lightroom once you've edited them in Photoshop. I've had two questions in the last two days about this from viewers and I think it's time to make a video to show you how to complete this process successfully. Before we go to Lightroom, I want to show you where you can find some additional Photoshop and Lightroom training. I have a number of classes at Skillshare and there's a coupon in the description below which includes an offer at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and generally much better. If you sign up for Skillshare, you'll get access to thousands of classes over there including my Photoshop and Lightroom classes. So without further ado, let's go to Lightroom. Here I have an image in Lightroom. It's in the library module, but we could also do this from the develop module. Now it does not matter what sort of image you're working with. It could be a raw file, it could be a JPEG, it could be a PSD, it could be a TIFF, whatever you can have in Lightroom, you can use this process with. So the problem that my two viewers had was that they were opening Photoshop and then opening the image in Photoshop and then re-importing back into Lightroom. And the problem with that is it's not a good or reliable reliable workflow. This is the workflow you should have. You should be working from Lightroom. So start in Lightroom, make your adjustments if you want to make them. And then when you're ready to go to Photoshop, you're going to right click on an image that you want to take to Photoshop. You're going to choose edit in and you're going to select Photoshop. You will have a number, potentially a number of options here that have been installed for access via Lightroom, but I'm choosing Photoshop. If Photoshop's not here and you have Photoshop on your computer, then it is possible to add it to this list. But let's assume that you do have Photoshop here. So you're just going to click edit in Photoshop. Now you need to make some choices. I've made some edits to this photo in Lightroom. So I'm offered the option to edit a copy of this image in Photoshop, including the Lightroom adjustments. I can edit just a copy, which is a copy of the original file and Lightroom adjustments won't be made to it, or edit the original. So what we're going to do is edit a copy with the Lightroom adjustments, because that's typically the workflow that you'll want. So I'll click edit. I'm getting an error message because of my camera raw plugins. I'm just going to render using Lightroom. That's just fine. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop. What happens is that Lightroom sends a trigger to Photoshop that says, hey, I've got a photo for you. Open up and grab this photo. And so this is all done for you. So if you don't have Photoshop already open, don't worry. Lightroom's going to trigger that to happen. Now you go ahead and do whatever it is that you want to do in Photoshop. It could be anything. Now I'm going to add some text just to prove that you can do this, for example, with multiple layers. So I'm going to use the horizontal type tool. Let me just go and type Sydney Darling Harbour. And because it's really hard to see this text because it's white, I'm going to add a drop shadow to it. So I've now made a change to that image. It's a layered file, that's just fine. You can do whatever it is that you want to do to the image. So you could, for example, have done some spot healing. You could have done some color fixes. You could make a collage with the image and build up multiple layers. You could add a texture. It does not matter what it is that you do. What matters is that how you get out of Photoshop and back to Lightroom. And this is where things can go really pear-shaped really quickly. This is what you're going to do. You're going up here and you're going to click the close button. Okay, you haven't saved the file. You haven't done anything like that. That's just fine. You're going to click here on the X button and you're going to save. Now what you're doing is you're not saving the original. You're saving a copy. So you haven't destroyed the original. You've just made an additional copy, which is a nice, sensible, smart workflow. It's also allowing Photoshop and Lightroom to have this conversation because, you know, they're really good friends. They're going to work together for you if you give them a chance. And this is the if you give them a chance bit. You're just going to click yes to save the image. So it's finished with in Photoshop. And when we go back to Lightroom, here is our image. I'm just going to turn on the overlay here so that we can see what's going on. This is obviously the one that we just brought back from Photoshop. It's been re-imported. It's all been dealt with by Lightroom and Photoshop having this conversation with each other. This is the one that we sent to Photoshop. So you've got your two images side by side in the library. Everything is absolutely perfect and the workflow just makes sense. It's all sort of automatic if you let these two programs work together. 
As I said, you can do this with any type of image. It can be a raw image, a JPEG or whatever. Let's go and see a couple of the settings that are going to be affecting this. I'm going to edit and then preferences. On a Mac, this would be Lightroom and then preferences. And we're going to external editing. So what's happening in here is that Photoshop CC 2018 is automatically set to have this conversation with Lightroom. The file format that I'm exporting in is PSD. So that's why this image that has the text on it is a PSD file because I chose it to be. You could make it a TIFF. You can choose which you like. The color space I'm using is sRGB and I'm setting the bit depth and the resolution. So that's why this image is going to go out potentially as a JPEG or a RAW or a TIFF or a whatever and it will always come back that second file that you've created in Photoshop is always going to come back as whatever it is that you have asked for a PSD in this case. Now this is where you can also add another external editor. So for example if you have Photoshop on your computer but you don't see Photoshop in that edit in list then you can add it using this option here and so that allows you to add other external editors to work with in Lightroom. So basically that's the technique. Do it all from Lightroom. Let Lightroom have that conversation with Photoshop. The two of them understand each other's language and they'll manage it for you if you give them the chance. So I hope that this has helped you. I hope that this will clarify things so that you don't get into trouble thinking that you have to re-import things into Lightroom because you don't because Lightroom and Photoshop are going to manage that for you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Click the notification bell so that YouTube will tell you when I release new videos. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.